Hello everyone, Mystic Intuition here, getting ready to do a collective reading. This is not sign specific, so if you were intuitively drawn here, the messages may resonate for you. We're going to do a collective um, twin flame reading. Alright, so, what is going on with your Divine Masculine? What is happening with your Divine Masculine? What messages does your Divine Masculine have for you right now? What do you need to know about this connection, please, for the collective? What is the overall energy here? What is the energy here? We have signs, divine timing, reconciliation, indecisive, and deja vu. Okay. So, with the science card, it says songs, visions, dreams, and spiritual guidance. Excuse me, I'm sorry to lose my voice. I've been getting, um, <clears throat> feeling a little sick today, but I think I'm all right. Divine timing, allowing the universe to bring things together. Reconciliation, apology, coming back together, and forgiveness. Indecisive, undecided, going back and forth, weighing the pros and cons. And then deja vu, feeling like you've met, remembering, instant connection, love at first sight. What I feel like here is that your divine masculine is constantly being reminded of you. And I don't think that this is someone who has fully awoken or done all of the work that is necessary for the two of you to be able to come into union successfully. But this is somebody who is almost like at their wits end, do you know what I mean? Where it's like, I'm just tired of being alone. I'm tired of missing this person everywhere I go. Like I'm constantly being reminded of my divine feminine. And now please know that with these readings, when I'm talking about masculine, I'm not talking about a physical masculine uh, person. I'm talking about an energy, divine masculine, excuse me, refers to the person in the connection who is less awoken, less aware. The divine feminine is the one more connected and um, aware of the connection. Excuse me. Somebody definitely could have a throat chakra blockage as well. Distance, emotional or physical space. So yeah, you might be at a distance. Guidance, asking for or seeking out advice, prayers answered. Self-sabotage, holding back, refusing, refusal, keeping things, keeping themselves from happiness. Okay. So yeah, I definitely feel like you're dealing with a masculine who truly knows even if they're not necessarily aware that this is a twin flame journey or you know a spiritual soulmate connection or some kind of soul contract here they do recognize there's something about you and this connection they've never been able they've never felt to before they've never been able to just get over you it always comes back to you it doesn't matter what they're doing who they're with you know this is somebody who constantly thinks about you and they do recognize there's something different, even if they can't put their finger on it. They know there's something different about your connection and what they have with you. Now, I feel like this is going to resonate for those of you who may not physically be in union with this person, whether this person lives, you know, just down the street or a state or two away or a different country even. This is someone that you are not physically with. There can be emotional or physical distance here. This person may even be asking people in their life for information or for advice. I don't know why I'm seeing someone who is praying in a way that they don't normally pray. Like if this person is not really religious but they're suddenly going to church or if this person is not really religious but they have a friend who's Catholic or something like that, you know, and they're asking or they're trying to learn or something like they don't know where to begin or something. And they may even be religious but it's like in a way they don't normally seek out advice. They're looking in different ways. They know that they have the power here. But, you know, a lot of times with this, <clears throat> we can see like um, an energy of like pride holding someone back. You might be seeing a lot of signs, songs, things like that. This person is also seeing those things. So let's see what else. We do see reconciliation here. So I do feel like this person does want to come back around, but Let's see more specifically what is going on in this connection for the collective, please, Spirit. Okay. What is going on in this connection, please, Spirit? Alright, 
So I'm going to do it this way. Divine Feminine. How does she see this connection? Okay. So I think that she recognizes that her masculine was not really looking for something serious in the past. That he was kind of playful, kind of maybe even was a bit of a loner. Maybe he just you know, wasn't someone who liked to do long-term relationships or, you know, was kind of really just focused on work and things like that. Now, for some of you, this masculine may have a child or be a bit younger, but I also just kind of get that sense of, like, loneliness. Like, this person may not have really, you know, wanted to open up about how they felt or what their intentions were and things like that. This person might have been kind of closed off on an emotional level. But you sensed or felt that no matter what this person was saying, this person was like really lonely. That they really genuinely deep down wanted connection, but maybe you felt they were kind of afraid to embrace it. How does the Divine Masculine see this connection? How does the Divine Masculine see this connection? Wow. Six of Cups with the Five of Pentacles. So your divine masculine recognizes there's something about your connection. Now, some of you could have had kids with them, but that's not for all of you. But this is that sense of like coming home, nostalgia, memories, past life relationships. You really put them at ease and made them so comfortable. They felt safe with you. And now they just feel alone. And they've done this to themselves. You know, we saw that self-sabotage card holding back, refusal, keeping themselves from happiness because they're constantly going back and forth. Will this make me happy? Will it not? But feeling like you've met, you know, remembering, incident connection, love at first sight. It was immediate with you. They just felt like they've known you their whole life and now they can't seem to like replicate that. And I don't mean that for all of you, they're just going out meeting people, but it's like they've never felt a connection like this. And they're still trying to make sense of it. They're constantly being reminded of you. They, they don't understand. For some of you, I'm kind of getting like this player type. And I'm not, and again, I'm not saying this person just, you know. But I, like this is somebody who may not have really intended to really settle down. Or they never really saw themselves with anybody like that. Or they didn't really like the idea of getting into serious relationships. Now this could have been because of like childhood or past relationship trauma. But regardless, if this person was just like afraid to emotionally get close to someone, maybe they were in a bad toxic marriage before or something. It's like this person was afraid to get close to somebody, but it always kind of comes back to you because they had never felt more seen or understood or loved. But I almost kind of get that sense of like, I don't deserve that. What do you feel about this situation with your masculine? How does the divine feminine feel, please? How does the divine feel? Easy enough. Okay, so we have the Empress. This is divine feminine energy. Uh, Taurus Libra. We also have the Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords. So this divine feminine really truly does know her worth. She knows what she deserves. And she is really tired of this situation and how long it has drug on you know ten of wands is about upheaval you know it's like you know you don't want to give up because you've come so far you know like imagine trying to push like a boulder up a hill you know it's like you're you're 90 percent of the way up there it's like you've given it all you've got but you know you're so close it's like i don't want to give up on this situation I don't want to give on my masculine but i'm so sick and tired of waiting and i feel there's so much stagnancy here Some of you, you know, definitely if you have children or, you know, family, like you're really giving all, all of your time and energy to that. Trying to be patient, but this is just heavily on your mind. It's heavily on your heart. It's weighing you. Are you kidding me? Here's the emperor with the empress. But you know... There's something between you and this person you just can't replicate with anyone else. How do they feel about you? How does this Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine? Please? How does this Divine Masculine feel about the Feminine? The Death card, Scorpio Energy, and the Page of Cups. They feel that maybe they've lost their chance. They feel that things have ended, that 
again, it's something that they did. They put the distance here. They may even have faith here that, you know, if they're patient, the universe will bring this together. Higher power, God, you know, will bring this together. Like, it'll happen when it's meant to happen. This person feels remorseful for the past. They feel very emotional. But again, like I said, we see this energy of someone who feels so, again, this water represents emotion, right? These cups are emotional. This is a page. This is showing you this little cup, but look at all of this tidal wave of emotions, feelings behind it. This person feels there's so much hiding beneath the surface, things that they didn't tell you, things that they wanted to tell you, things that they feel guilt or regret about not saying to you. What does Divine Feminine feel like needs to happen here? What does the Divine Feminine feel like needs to happen here? What do you feel like needs to happen here? Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, this masculine may need to make a decision when it comes to like being very direct and straightforward. They cannot keep being wishy-washy or hot and cold. For some of you, it could represent that maybe this person has to make a decision about you and someone else. Uh, maybe a Queen of Swords energy. Maybe it has to do with like a contract of some sort. Um, there can be secrets here that you feel like need to come to light um, to really make things right here. What does my masculine's intentions, what does this masculine want to do or feel like needs to happen here? What does this divine masculine feel like he needs to do? What is his intentions, please? Okay, um, so again, take what resonates, leave what does not. These are general. For some of you, this is about making a choice about love. Um, now, this could be a couple of things. Now, maybe this person has an ex or a child's mother or someone they're still connected with. They need to let that person go or heal from it, move past it. For others of you, this can be about choosing between someone who is currently in their life. Okay, like this. So either this is someone from their past that still holds them back and makes them fearful of commitment. Or like even a mother, like if they had a mother who maybe had many toxic relationships or something like that, you know, that could have really, again, we would never justify negative actions or behaviors. We do want to understand your person, want to understand their perspective. Um, this is somebody, though, that knows that they are really in their head and nervous about doing the wrong thing, making the wrong choice. But again, it's like they're always kind of guided back to you, always like being reminded of you, feeling like this is supposed to happen no matter how much time or space is there. I do apologize if you guys hear my little children. I cannot always control. I have a two-year-old and a five-year-old. can't always control if they're going to be quiet. <laughs> but this person, it's like it always comes back to you, you know. And they're so torn and feeling so guilty here. They may even be asking people around them, what should I do? How should I approach this? What should I say? You know, maybe they'll all just get rejected. They're really in their head, but they know that they still feel guided back to you. The lovers, Gemini energy here. You're the sign. You make them happy. And they have to make a decision to really openly communicate this. What, what actions <clears throat> can you expect from your Divine Masculine? What actions can you expect from your Divine Masculine? Five of Cups. Okay, so this is somebody, like I said, who has to walk away from something. They have to make some kind of change. Now, this could be a couple of things. I mean, if they are already in some kind of relationship, or even if they're not romantic with someone, I mean, it could be someone that they share custody of a child with. This person, they could have to kind of set some kind of clear boundaries with and walk away from, heal from the past, and open a new door. You know, I think that for some of you, this person could also have like some kind of work contract or something. They, they, they're actually, like they are feeling very remorseful, but this is actually causing them to really look deep and reflect on what is they, you know, they have to give something up. They have to make some kind of change in order to have a new beginning. It's like this person is going through this like transition period of making some kind of adjustments or change, really thinking about what they want long-term in their life, you know, and taking action toward that. You may hear from this person, you know, this can be positive, this can be a celebration, reconnection here. We do see reconciliation under the deck. This is potential here for a new beginning for you and this person. Again, ultimately, you have free will to choose or to decide. You do not have to accept it if you're not comfortable accepting it. But the offer, you know, I do feel like it's coming in for some of you. What do you need to know? 
we need to know. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Even if you know this person very, very well, this can talk about like reestablishing your relationship, you know, catching up on what's been going on since you've been apart. But not only that, the getting to know each other card can talk about like that pillow talk energy of just like laying awake at night, talking about your fears, your desires, your hopes, your dreams, your childhood, really going deep into all of those things, really opening up to each other. New love. A new person has stirred romantic feelings. This can talk about pursuing new love. This can also talk about renewals in love. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I think that this person is energetically releasing something or someone from their past trying to heal and move forward, wanting to reconcile this connection, wanting to get to know you all over again. They feel drawn to you no matter what they do. They feel this connection energetically. So they are breaking some past cycles and moving towards you. Uh, there's reconciliation here. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me just like this one, there is a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. I am currently offering 20% off of all readings. The discount is automatically applied. Um, I think that sale will run like the next week or so. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.